mathematics today is differential equations paper 3. Let's have a look at this question. Many students have a lot of problem in separating the variables. So for, vari uh, for separating variables, it's really tricky because they only have one term for x and y and students usually get confused in how to separate x and y over here. So I would really suggest that you guys pause the video over here and try to think of a way how you're going to separate the values for x and y. So for those of you who have been able to do that, congratulations, very nice. And for those of you who are struggling a little bit, let me show you how to do that. So for this one, the trick was in indices that we know that powers are added when same bases are being multiplied. So you can split this as a base of E while those bases are being multiplied. So this was the trick on how to solve this. Now let's cross multiply to x uh, dx over here. So it would be dy is equals to e raised to power 2x, e raised to power y, dx. So let's bring this e raised to power y onto the left hand side. It will become 1 over e to the power y dy is equals to e raised to power 2x, dx. Now this is where most of our troubles are done. And now you can see I have separated the variable. So I'm going to integrate both sides separately. So this was the trickiest part of the question. The rest of it is like pretty straightforward. Let's bring that e in numerator. e raised to power minus y dy is equals to e raised to power 2x dx. So let's start integrating for this e. The box is minus y. I need negative 1 over here, I will need negative 1 outside. So three things are going to disappear. So differentiation of box and these three things will disappear and I will get integration as negative e raised to power minus y. On the right hand side, the box, is, uh, the e is the operator, box is 2x, I will need 2 over here, 1 over 2 over here. Now let's, once this condition is completed, Differentiation of box is replay, uh, removed along with, along with both integration signs and integration of E is as it is. So this would be 1 over 2, E raised to power 2x. And now we know we have to in include a constant of integration and from here we're going to place x as 0 and y as 0 to find C. So E raised to power minus E raised to power 0 is equals to 1 over to e raised to power 0 plus c. So I think e would be equal, c would be equal to minus 3 by 2. So let's bring everything in one equation, minus e raised to power minus y is equal to 1 by 2 e raised to power 2x minus 3 by 2. Now let's take this minus over here and multiply. So this will become e raised to power minus y is equal to 3 by 2 minus 1 by 2 e raised to power 2x. And now let's introduce log on both sides. So I will have log on both sides of the equation. And let's use the power rule to bring e in the front or y in the front. So negative y ln e would become 1 later on is equals to log of 3 by 2 minus 1 by 2 e raised to power 2x. Now the, for the last step, last step, y will be equal to negative log of 3 by 2 minus 1 by 2 e raised to power 2x and this is our final differential equation. So in this equation, uh, in this differential equation, we did not do much except for the first step that was a little bit tricky. It was really tricky for many students and examiners also commented on that, that many candidates were not uh, able to separate the variables. That This was the tricky bit and it li the trick lied in indices basically that you had to know that you can open up the basis if the powers are being added or subtracted. I hope you have liked this video. If you do, please share it with your friends who might not know this technique. If you have any questions, any queries relating to this question, please leave them in the comment section below and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.